So let me guess, you're tumbling and all of a sudden your wrist hurts. Not fun, right? That's one of the more common areas that athletes come and say, hey, I hurt, and they point to the wrist. Now there's one area that is a little unique when it comes to the wrist and when it comes to pain and rehabbing, and that is right about there. Have you ever had pain right here or seen somebody have pain here? If so, in this video, we're gonna show you ways that you can start to rehab this area of your wrist so you can get back to tumbling. So this side of our wrist can be problematic when we're tumbling. It's got a really long name, but it condensed down into four letters, TFCC. The TFCC is a group of ligaments that helps to hold this part of our wrist together and keep it stable when we do things like this and we twist. It's most commonly injured when our wrist is extended and twisted, which if we think about handsprings and round offs, that's a pretty common thing that happens here. So this area can be a bit challenging to rehab because there's a lot of stuff going on there. But in this video, I wanna show you how you can begin the rehab process and start to build stability in your wrist to get it feeling better. So what we're gonna use for these exercises is gonna be one resistance band. Now this can be a tube band that you get at like a academy or a sporting goods store, or it can be a TheraBand that is like we use in the clinic. For this video, we're gonna use a TheraBand. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with trying to assess which ranges of motion give us the most trouble. Most people with an injury here have a trouble rotating through the forearm and that creates discomfort here. Also, we can get pain going forward and back in what's called flexion and extension. And then if this hurts as well, that's gonna be because we're pinching on an area that we hurt. So the first phase of rehab for most injuries is going to be what's called isometric uh, rehab or isometric strengthening, meaning we're building strength without moving. And the way that we do that is we load a position with a band or a weight and we don't move it. And it'd be very similar to if I wanted to work my bicep and I, instead of moving it, I just held it with a weight in my hand. That'd be what is called an isometric movement. So for our wrist, again, we can go rotation, flexion, extension, and these sideways movements here called deviation. We're gonna grab our band, and we're going to hold it in our hand on one side, and we're gonna tie it off on another point. From here, we're gonna go through first our wrist twisting motions. So what we'll do is grab our band, we're going to load our wrist with it, and we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Now, I know this may seem simple, and that's because it is. We wanna get stronger and stable without motion before we start adding motion. So we would hold for 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna to switch to the other side and we're gonna build strength twisting the other direction. And again there, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. And that'll take care of the rotation part of the wrist. The next one we're gonna do is our forward and back bending. These are really easy. You would grab one end of your band and you would stand on the other. From here, you're going to bring your hand up to where you have resistance on the band and you're gonna hold there, fighting the band from pulling your hand back down. And again, from here, we would hold for 30 to 60 seconds. Simply, after that one, we simply flip our hand over and we would work an isometric or a holding version of wrist flexion. So we flip our palm up and we're gonna hold from the band pulling us back down there. Again, very, very easy, working up 30 to 60 seconds. And the last one that we're gonna do is our ulnar and radial deviation. That's the sideways movement. From here, we're gonna take our band in one hand, hold it with the other, and we're simply going to pull our unaffected hand away from the one that has pain. And by doing that, we're resisting the band from wanting to pull us this way. We'll hold that for 30 to 60 seconds, and then we would flip our hand over and do the same thing, resisting again from the band pulling our hand in that direction. So by doing these isometric movements, we're building strength in our forearm muscles that support our wrist without having to move the wrist, which is usually where people have the most pain. So take a band, try these exercises, and once you get through the isometrics, it's a safe time to start working into some motion and see how well you can actually move. Last bit of info, once you get done, make sure you ice. Ice helps the wrist so much. Don't neglect the ice. Very important. Hey guys, I hope this video was helpful if you're having wrist pain right about here. If it's not going away, 
you definitely need to get it checked out. We don't want to be having pain and tumbling and not let a doctor make sure that you're safe. So number one thing, if it's been troublesome or it's really, really bothering you, make sure you get in with a doctor to get him to check it out to make sure that you're safe to do these exercises and safe to start getting back into cheer activities like tumbling. If you would like more videos on hand and wrist, click the link above. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, I don't know why you're being silly, there's gonna be a logo that looks just like this one. It's gonna be sitting right about here. I want you to click that, hit subscribe, hit that bell so you know when we come out with new videos. And we'll catch you on the next one.